Hi children, welcome back to our biology class. What we studied in the previous class, do you remember? In previous class, we studied about tissues. Tissues are groups of similar cells that have a common origin and perform specific functions. Next, we studied about zygote. Our body is developed from a single cell called zygote. After that, we studied cell differentiation. The zygote undergoes continuous divisions and forms the fetus consisting cells of different shape, size and content. Fetal cells gradually attain change in structure and function. This process is known as cell differentiation. Ok children, now we are going to learn about stem cells. Let's start our class. Look at the news clipping. What is mentioned in this clipping? A giant leap in stem cell research. Science has succeeded in artificially developing tissues from stem cells. A lot of research has gone into this achievement, which would become a milestone in the field of medicine. Oh, this is the content in the clipping. Have you noticed Sneha's doubt about the news clipping? What are these stem cells? Are they the cells within seeds? Children, do you have the same doubt as Sneha? Let's watch the video. Stem cells are cells that are undifferentiated, meaning that do not have a specific job or function. Skin cells protect the body, muscle cell contract, and nerve cell send signals. The stem cells do not have any specific structure or functions. Stem cells have the potential to become all other kinds of cells in the body. The stem cells are specialized cells that can transform into any kind of cells. Stem cells undergo constant differentiation and get transformed into other kinds of cells. That is, it divides continuously and get transformed into different kinds of cells like nerve cell, blood cell, muscle cell, etc. Let's look the video. The stem cells can either get transformed into other cells through division. Or some stem cells do not divide and they exist as such. Here the stem cells divide. The stem cells undergo constant differentiation and get transformed into other kinds of cells. Here, these stem cells transformed into neurons or nerve cell. Many stem cells undergo divide and differentiation and forms into a network of nerve cells or Neuron. Here, the stem cells differentiate and forms the muscle cells. Thus, we understand that. Stem cells are specialized cells that can transform into any kind of cells. Stem cells undergo constant differentiation and get transformed into other kinds of cells. When the cells in the tissues get destroyed, new cells develop from the stem cells. 
that is when some cells in the tissues get destroyed new cells develops instead of destroyed cells from the stem cells the next the stem cells are found in the bone marrow skin digestive tract etc for example in bone the stem cell is present in the bone marrow and it is converted into the blood cells like rbc wbc and platelets stem cells can bring about miraculous changes in the treatment of blood cancer diabetes parkinson disease etc and also in the manufacture of artificial organs parkinson disease is a progressive nervous system disorder that affects movement people usually develop the disease around age 60 or older nowadays science can develop the desired type of cells from stem cells in research centers under specific laboratory conditions okay children let's wind up our today's class let's look the review today we studied about stem cells stem cells are specialized cells that can transform into any kind of cells stem cells undergo constant differentiation and get transformed into other kinds of cells stem cells can either get transformed into other cells through division or exist as such when the cells in the tissues get destroyed new cells develop from the stem cells stem cells are found in the bone marrow skin digestive tract etc stem cells can bring about miraculous changes in the treatment of blood cancer diabetes parkinson disease etc and also in the manufacture of artificial organs these are the points we studied about stem cells i hope all of you understood today's topic study well see you in the next class thank you